Hello everyone, Nasty Olive Burke. I'm the owner and CEO of Green Earth Now, which is my own green energy company. Today, I would like to talk to you about overcoming the Iron Dome Missile Defense Part 3. But before I talk about any of that, I would like to explain my intentions and what I truly want. I want to be a businessman, but I don't like capitalism or free markets. I actually am a socialist at heart. So if I were actually become rich, I would be a philanthropist and actually give away most of my money. I actually wouldn't charge much for my products because I don't believe in the concept of money. I believe money directs our energies to a unneeded, unnecessary task that could be better used for science or advancing the human race or anything like that. Anything except for money. Think money is evil and pointless and a distracting factor for humans and our race, our people. So today I would like to talk about overcoming the Iron Dome Missile Defense. So, some people like to put their Iron Dome Missile Defense in underground bunkers and behind like buildings and walls and all that. So, today I would like to talk about my screw bits, bombs, laser bombs, and fault bombs. Okay, so we attach a bomb to like, let's say like a screw, a high power drill, and you shoot that at a building really, really fast, and you have it spinning as it impacts the building, the velocity or anything will help carry it through, and help get a little foothold in the building, so hopefully it'll be able to drill through wherever you want. You can also have a high powered laser at the end of the tip of the missile or the bunker bomb or the whatever missile you want to shoot at the Iron Dome missile fit system, stealth bomb, wherever you want. Tap a, uh, attach a missile to it so it can cut through the building or whatever it needs. And you can also have standalone systems like. I previously thought of which would be animal like bombs that are basically aimed at seeking out iron dome missile defenses underground so you could make like giant sandworms or moles or pretty much worms or pretty much any animal or creature that's in the ground attach a bomb to it add sensors to it and assign it to target. It's pretty ingenious. Pretty great. Alright, the last one I would like to talk about is fault bombs. Came up with this while watching Oblivion and just thinking like what would be the ultimate like natural weapon that would be hard to detect who sent it off. So I said, <laughs> oil drillers and frackers, people that are looking for like natural gas, do it all the time. So I said, why don't you just aim one of my screw bombs and missiles at a fault line? And so, you know what fault lines do? Once they move or shift, they create earthquakes. So, if you attack the uh, right fault line, pretty much destroy a country, <laughs> especially like Japan or something, or a coastal country, you totally just like flood it. It's a totally natural weapon. It's like a last resort for like aliens and shit. But, like hopefully, we don't have to go that far. Aliens are like zombies, so we just like flood the whole earth. <laughs> 
they'll be very destructive. But nah. They'll be like a last, last option. So that's a very bad. The earthquakes are bad, but like I said, my fault ball. I fuck with my fault ball. It'd be pretty ingenious weapon. You wouldn't know who did it. You just think you got hit by an earthquake. But really, it was man-made.